Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today I'm going to show you the other white meat. First thing you want to do is you want to get a pot and put just about whatever you can find in it. Um, I've got some onions, carrots, a couple of green peppers, and lots of garlic. Because you want to be able to cut the gaminess. So we got six cloves of garlic in there. I've also got here some oranges that Genius in Exile gave me. And we're going to squeeze some of that orange juice in here. Because what you're trying to do is you're kind of trying to cut the gaminess. When you're cutting your meat off the leg, first thing you want to do is pull it off. And what you can do is if you slice it on the leg and then uh, leave some of the fat on it, if you get a nice specimen, you got a lot of nice fat right up here by the thigh. And uh, you're just going to slice it through right around the bone. As you can see, that's where the bone was. And so we have a nice thigh and the knee was right on down here. You want to go all the way up to the hip area to get your meat off. And then, very important step, because of the fact it's human, you want to soak it in some nice salt water for a couple hours. And then you want to rinse that out and soak it in some fresh water for a couple hours. Now, I know this is not something you're going to want to do on a daily basis. This is for those emergency cases. So then once you've got the meat off the bone, you can cook the bone separately, but I recommend you don't cook it with the meat because, like I said, it's really gamey. And, you know, especially when somebody's been hungry for a while, that marrow in there kind of turns bad. So... Let's go ahead and get this on the pot. Alright, when you get this in the pot, you want to drain that juice off as much as possible. I always like to put the thigh meat in first, and then the rest of the leg. And you want to just barely put some juice in it. In this big pot with this big piece of meat, I would say half a gallon of water. And I think, because I can smell the gaminess in this leg, I'm going to add another squeeze of orange juice. Alright? That'll really cut that gaminess. If you have some cilantro or Italian seasoning or anything like that, remember, wash your hands really good because we are talking human meat. And, you know, there's a lot of bacteria, but if you're really hungry... You know, it, it does great in a pinch. If it's winter time, you can keep it frozen over and just cut it off as you need it. So let me get this cooking and we'll get back to you after it's cooked for a while. Alright, so at this point you drain it, add fresh water, and then you can add your potatoes or whatever you want to it. The gaminess will now be gone. And so get yourself a really sharp knife. And that's why we cook it so long because it is really tough. As you can see, you can see the muscles separating in there. So you want to cook those muscles really good. And that fat, you can take that off at this point because it really doesn't taste good. And it's really thick, you know, that kind of fat is its really gristly. So you can take that off. And then we're going to cook it a little longer in this new broth. And then we're going to cube it. And, of course, we're going to have a hunk for dinner and then can the rest up for food storage. Once you get it out of the pot, you want to go ahead and, like I said, get the rest of the fat off. It's still hot. Because you want to can it hot. Not too much fat on this one. This is the outside of the meat.
and that's the inside. And you want to go ahead and cube it up. So let me cut this up into cubes or strips, your choice. And uh, we'll get this in the jars. So get your canner going with some heat on it. Get your water warmed up because you're putting hot jars. Wipe your rims. We got some fat on that one. Let's get that fat off. There we go. A little fatty, you know. It's, it's not like the other white meat. And you're going to wipe your lids, just the top rim. And I took broth from the pot. Because remember, that's the second running of the broth. And clean off the rims. And get my lids. And my rings. And as usual, it's meat. So you're going to want to pressure can it right, for 75 minutes. And they are hot, so if you need to use a uh, pot holder or something, please do. Don't burn your hands. And we got five pints along with dinner. And some leftovers for um, sandwiches for work. Well, try that again. Thought we were going to have eight pints, but never is as much as you think it is. It kind of shrinks up. And it wasn't really meaty leg. got them in the pressure canner and we're using the little one today you want to put a little lid on there we go. tighten it up you're going to vent it for 10 minutes bring it up to pressure 10 pounds for my altitude and then we're going to process it for 75 minutes we'll be back to you when we open it okay so it's done once the steam has stopped, if you can move the knobby and it steams, don't open it. And then open it away from you when you do do it. And we have five pints of meat. There we go. It's still boiling. My arm is probably in your view. I'm trying not to. And there we go. So let's have some dinner and try it out. And there we go. So when you serve it, you're going to cut your fat off, huh? Now, how was your day? Good. Did you enjoy the meetup? We met some really nice people, huh? Yes. Mm. That's why I like going, having the meetups. We get to really get to know some people intimately. Definitely. It's quite tasty. Absolutely. Can't wait for the next meetup. Maybe we'll get a change of pace. Right, is good. Get us some more, you know, right. maybe some Italian meat. Not bad. Dying with the good. Definitely. Blessings! <laughs>